What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the police AI chasing. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so in the previous episode what we did was the sight detection, so now when we walk our police AI can basically observe his environment and also detect actors. So now what we need to do is basically chase the player so let's go to the ai folder and let's go into police and now what we're going to do is go into the uh bp ai police um ai controller class right and here we have the update perception where we basically check if we have you know seen any actor and if so we set the blackboard variable of um seeing target to true but now we're gonna make another one which will basically say what actor we are seeing. That way we can now chase that specific actor. So what we need to do is go into the Blackboard asset and create a new key. Now in this case, what type of key would it be? Well, it will be an object. So this will be the target actor and that's it. Now we can save, copy the name just to be exact and then go ahead and add a new node. So what I want to do is just go and again right click get the blackboard reference and then we can just set value as and then object and in this case the key name will be a uh, make little name that way we can type and it will be this one let me just copy and paste make sure it is spelled exactly the same as in the blackboard without any spaces at the end or anything like that that's very important and then we we'll go ahead and just drag the actor uh you know output into here and that's it now we are saving this in the variable so now we have whatever actor we are seeing so now the only thing we need to do is begin creating these uh you know following or chasing sequence so let's go and open up the behavior tree and what we need to do is change this a bit so instead of directly going into a sequence we now need something called a selector and the selector will help us to decide into which sequence we want so by default as you may know the ones at the left will have a higher priority that's why by default we will begin well in this case the ai I, when i say we will begin i really mean the, the police ai will begin in the you know the patrolling sequence but now i can add another sequence here to the right and just change the name to chasing sequence and now this will be at the right so we have a lower priority so it means that by default we will not go into chasing but we will indeed go to patrolling all right so now with that said what i need to do is basically create a new task right which will basically chase the player so let's go into new task and select the blueprint base this is very important we don't want to create a child from the patrol we want just by you know the blueprint base then let's go into the tasks uh, folder and change the name to be bt underscore task underscore and then chase target and with that said we can just hit enter and there we go so let's go into the functions of write and receive execute ai so basically this is the begin play of the uh task as you may know so whenever we execute it we will run this so the first thing that we want to do on here is add the ai move to node all right like we did with the patrolling and the pawn will be the controlled pawn and we can go into a certain point in this case well of course what we want to do is go to the target actor so we will fill that in in a second but let's add in the success a finish execute all right and we'll mark this as true and then copy and paste and on fail we will put this as finish execute but untick success right and now yes we need to go ahead and fill in the target actor so what we need to do is create a new variable and name this the target actor and then in this case it's not going to be directly a type of object okay it's going to be a type of blackboard key selector okay now i can compile drag this and then on here what i can do is get value as and then a specific uh, type which in this case is object all right and as you may remember like we also did here we cannot use set a specific variable right it is not defined we have this uh, generic universal uh, node where we can you know put our variables in which is the same as here we have this universal blackboard key variable type where in here we get the value and not it is not a type of object directly and now yes from here i cannot drag it so i need to cast 
to the um, actor class. And with that said, we're good to go. And also this will make sure that, you know, what we are chasing is an actor itself. Now we can drag this in and we will also put the cast felt to the finish execute on, um, on not success, right? Um, it didn't work. And there we go. All right, so now we're good to go. We actually have this prepared. And of course, if we put a target actor, we do not need a destination because it will go to that target actor. And let's increase the acceptance radius to maybe around 200. So he will not get so, so close to the player. And with that said, we have uh, the you know task correctly set up. So now we can go back to our behavior tree. And in the chasing sequence, we can now add our chase target. And with that said, we should be good to go. I can then go ahead and just add a little wait of, you know, just one second, just to have something. But now, very, very important, we need to go ahead and select the chase target um, task and assign that new Blackboard value. So we need to go back to the task and just click on this eye icon. So it is publicly available, which is basically called in Unreal Instance Editable. And we can access it from here. So now we select it again. We now have the target actor variable, you know, available. And now here we can select the target actor blackboard value. This is very, very important. So make sure that that is selected as not any other, but target actor. And now with that said, we should be good to go. So now the only thing we need to do is change up sequence, right? Whenever we are seeing the player or well, not a player, but any target that we want. So what we need to do is right click on the chasing sequence and we will add a decorator. What type? Blackboard. So decorators are, uh, you know, allows us to add different conditions on our sequences. And in this case, the Blackboard one uh, can use Blackboard keys. So the one that we want is going to basically be um, the scene target variable, right? And if it is set, so we are seeing a, uh, you know, uh, 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 target we want to go into this one so we'll go and put the observer aboard on self and then we'll right click and add another blackboard decorator select this and change it to scene target and then if it's not set and self so basically if it is not set so scene target not set we'll go here and if this variable changes we will absorb absorb <laughs> abort this whole self sequence okay and then go up into selector and consider into where we go and now that should be good to go. So now in theory, if I go and press play and go in front of the AI, he should see us, but he's not basically doing anything. So we have some different options. First of all, uh, we can also go ahead and just type the um, this uh, perception system, right? And press six and seven on here. And we can see that he is basically seeing us, but he is not uh, going ahead and basically, you know, setting us as a target. So if we go in here, uh, we can check everything and we can start to put prints, for example, here on, you know, hello. So if I now go and press play, you can see that the hello is not appearing. That's just because we are basically not completely um, detecting the player itself, right? Um, but if I go and just put here the print and just go and press uh, this here you can see that we still uh, don't have anything so it's not of the logic itself but it is what pawns can we see and the thing is that the pawn that we can see is not defined so we need to add a specific component to our player so for this let's go to blueprints go to bb player and now what we need to do is basically add a new component which will be something called the ai perception stimuli source press enter and now with this component added we are telling the perception system of the police that we can see this player okay which is pretty important and now we also need to go ahead and check the auto register as source and then we can add the sense of sight so basically our police ai can see us with sight and now if we go here we still cannot be seeing uh, for our uh, police because we still have one little thing actually Actually, I think he saw me. <laughs> no, no, he didn't saw me because he didn't want to print uh, We need to add a little thing to our um, project settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that 
So basically what we need to do is go to the folder of the Unreal project. You can access this by going to the Epic Games Launcher, right clicking and opening the folder. And then we need to go to the config folder and we can see this default game.ina file. So we double click, it will open this in the notepad. And if now you can just right click and say to open the notepad. And then we're going to go and just go and paste this two lines, which is basically telling the engine to uh, only detect the pawns that have this stimuli source component added. All right, and then I'm going to go into file, save and close and close. And now the only thing we need to do is basically go ahead and restart the editor. So let's go ahead and do so. All right, so the editor has already restarted. And now our AI, as you can see, is seeing us because we are telling to only detect the ones that have this stimuli source and indeed it is working. So as soon as the AI will see me, he will start chasing me and he will stop in a certain distance, which is really, really cool. And of course, if he doesn't see me by default, then I, for example, begin, you know, moving the AI over here, right? He will not see me. And there we go, he's just wandering around. And as soon as I go into his pawn sensing perception system site, there you go. He will begin going ahead and chasing me. And you can see the print uh, string going ahead and appearing, which is really, really cool. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember that you can get the private files through Patreon or the members link in the description. Join my Discord server to tell me and other devs. Follow me on my socials. Now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.